What difficulties do Muslims have in presenting Islam to the West in a proper way? Because we talked earlier on about how Islam is perceived. We didn't talk about our own role uh -huh. or our own responsibility of how we have either well, failed I, or succeeded. That, good points. I think part of it is the fact that uh, I think Islam is misperceived by the Muslims as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not just a misperception that the Western people have. It's also a misperception that the Muslims have. And part of that is the fact that, that Islam has been reinvented, or, you know, what, what they term in, in uh, philosophy or religious studies, redacted um, by uh, late 19th century and 20th century um, modernist uh, revisioners of Islam. Um, people have been called the reformers. Some people call them the deformers. Um, Who the, do you mean? I mean, I don't really like to get into specific uh, individuals because I think you're dealing with, on the one hand, uh, infiltration into the uh, Islamic academic cadre, which is um, which is quite pernicious. But on the other hand, you're dealing with just unfortunately people that were caught up in the flow of what was happening. I mean, when the Muslims were defeated by the colonialists, this was a great shock to the Muslim Ummah. And, and I think what, what happened is suddenly they were having to deal with the fact we've been defeated by uh, the Europeans who for centuries the Muslims had looked down on them as being unworthy of even their consideration. And you can see some of the letters that were written by Muslim rulers, unfortunately, to uh, the Europeans uh, really with disdain and, 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 and uh, loathing. And so, uh, you know, I think that, that, that uh, one of the things that God does is um, but do you, do you he cures that? people uh, with the thing that, that, you know, with the medicine that they need to be cured and the medicine of arrogance and pride. Uh, you know, the medicine is a very bitter medicine. It's called humility and, uh, and submission. And, and I think what's happened to a Muslim world that became very arrogant and very prideful, uh, we have really been humiliated. And if we don't learn this lesson... But have know, we? That's what my question is. I'm asking is that you... You say that the uh, noses have been rubbed into the ground. Yeah. And I don't think and we've learned the lesson yet. No, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. But, okay. but the wonderful thing about life is it keeps teaching you the same lesson over and over again. Mm -hmm. Unlike school here where you can keep graduating on without having learned anything in the previous year. They'll put you to the next year. It doesn't happen in life. Life will just keep giving you the same lesson over and over again. And you get your diploma when you get the point. Right, and 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 we haven't gotten the point because well, Muslims still think somehow that La ilaha illallah um, gives you some uh, exalted position uh, by the mere fact that you state that. Well, if that was true, then the the hypocrites would certainly not be in the lowest portion of hell because they say that too. So La ilaha illallah uh, really on the saying tongue, that uh, saying it has no. Uh, it, you know, no meaning unless it's emanating from Doesn't the heart. Doesn't get you any bonuses. And obviously. if it emanates from the heart, it manifests on the limbs. And if it manifests on the limbs, you have a human being that's called a Muslim. And if it's not, you have somebody that the Quran clearly defines as a hypocrite, a munafiq. Somebody that, in fact, the way the Quran articulates is, يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسُهُمْ They attempt, and it's mukhada'a in the Arabic language is an attempt. Okay. They attempt to fool Allah and those who believe and they only succeed in fooling themselves and there's another version which is the Warsh version which says and they only attempt to fool themselves in other words the self-delusion ultimately yeah you can be self-deluded but ultimately you know in reality what the truth is